Hey everybody, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how I did not have a lathe and what I did to make a makeshift lathe in the garage so that I could make these spacers. And this is not going to be a DIY video or anything like that. It's just another video um, on this exhaust series that I guess you could say I'm doing. Um, and so pretty much what I needed to do was make some spacers for the exhaust because the Mercedes S-Class comes with this under chassis strut brace, which is really cool because a lot of cars um, don't come with this. And so it's kind of like a sought after thing in the aftermarket parts community, especially for performance parts and stiffening chassis and all that cool racing stuff. So all you S-Class owners out there, take pride in knowing that you have a race car in a sense, but still always obey driving laws wherever you go. Safety first. So what I ended up doing was I needed to make some spacers so that the exhaust wouldn't bang against the strut brace and I couldn't find these spacers but then again I didn't look too much I didn't look too hard because why would I buy spacers when there's more fun in making spacers and there's even more fun in making spacers without a lathe even though I need a lathe so um, I'm also starting a crowdsourcing GoFundMe but not GoFundMe donation link which you can find at the top right hand corner of my page. So if you look for that donate button at the top right hand corner, you can donate. Every dollar counts. So in this part of the video, you can see that this has become my lathe, a drill and a vise with a punch. So um, apparently I didn't center everything like I thought I did, but it's still getting the job done. So I took off this first layer here with just like some rough sandpaper and then that's just pretty much like what happens. So you can see it's smoothening out and I could have just cut the aluminum stock and called it a day, but I wanted it to look nice. I wanted these spacers to look nice because I'm going to make more of these spacers because I plan to make more of these exhaust systems because I plan to sell them to you guys. Yeah. You're welcome. So now you can see here, I'm just kind of cleaning everything up. And uh, so far it's looking good, but I really need a lathe. Did I say I need a lathe? I need a lathe. So, oh, also, did I say that uh, I'm asking for donations? No shame, no shame at all. There's nothing wrong with asking for donations. Churches do it all the time. So um, anyway, We'll just kind of like step aside from this video here of what I'm doing and let's just hear from you guys. What are you guys up to? How's your S classes doing? How's the Mercedes Benz S class treating you? Are you enjoying the ride? Who here is a first time Mercedes S class owner? Tell me about your stories in the comments. I want to hear. Um, and for all you long time S class owners, uh, are you a collector? Do you have more than one S-Class? Tell me your stories in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Also, there's a car meet in Georgia. It's called Cars and Cigars, which is like an after meet of caffeine and octane, which, which I think they meet at uh, the cigar cellar in Kennesaw. So if you guys are in Georgia, all you S-Class owners, uh, try to make it out to that meet. It's the first Sunday of every month and I've been going there recently um, mainly to just kind of advertise the exhaust and everything but I love to meet you guys if you're out there. So all you Mercedes S500 owners and all Mercedes owners in general if you guys are out uh, in Georgia come visit the meet. It's uh, at the Cigar Cellar Ever, the first of every month. The cigar seller also has really good food. The employees there, everybody's amazing. So as you can see, here's the spacers 
in their completed functioning form. And you can see how it lowers the bracket so that, or the strut brace, I guess you could say, so that the exhaust doesn't bang on it because I used 2.5 inch piping for this exhaust. Um, might have been a little overkill, but if you add a turbo and headers and all that stuff, it works great. All right, see you guys later.